Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. It's not really a tutorial. I want to show you uh, some download for patrons. And uh, if you are a patron, or you, or you want to become a patron, or you want to become just once a patron for downloading this file, uh, I want to show you how to work with this. This I did for a photographer. I'll show you what this is. This is a room, like a room like it's a background of a room. So. And I got the, the client wanted to, to make something like uh, uh, this room here, exactly how he liked it. it, it he said me how he wants the neon rights, the, the mirrors, everything. And and he wanna, he has uh, Cinema 4D and he has Octane and uh, I did this for Octane, but I did an, uh, another version for uh, the physical render too. So Patreons, five euro and above, can download this from my Patreon site. And here I want to show you how this works. Uh, yeah, this is, he, the photographer needs it for some composite things and uh, so things. I don't know what he exactly he wants with, to do with this, but uh, but the idea I think is good. So they don't have to make such a background in real life. <laughs> and now I want to show you uh, what, uh, how this works. So I click here on my room thing here. So and I have here lot of user data then so got a room again so room control you have and i have locked this so we have here yeah? and you see we have the neon shape so we can change the shapes of the neon we want diamonds and circles and or no neon lights at all so this is okay same with the mirror circle mirror or no mirrors I have no new lights here, and should should uh, be no. I will change this immediately. So use it to manage user data, and I want here the mirror shape. No mirrors. Yeah, so you can watch me <laughs> working. Okay, and save it. Good should be now no mirrors okay and it works next size is you can change the size of the mirrors of course and you see that looks very nice i think i prefer this one you can't change the at the moment you can't change the uh, the neon lights the size of the neon lights because it did not need this so it did not do this but I think about to, to update this this background to make more of this because I, I really like the idea here. And uh, if you have some ideas, and, and uh, please let me know. Maybe, maybe I can implement it in, in this whole thing here. So, uh, hide the middle mirrors it means just sometimes, sometimes you don't need the middle mirrors here, so you can hide them. Uh, neon color, I think it says everything. So <laughs> you can change the neon color lights. So Make it a little more intensive, or make it green, or make it whatever you like. And it looks quite nice when you, in Octane, uh, this, uh, unfortunately we have this in physical render, but in Octane when you go to your camera tag here, and go to the post processing and enable the bloom, you'll see you get a nice bloom here, this, this looks quite nice. And then, next thing, yeah, neon intensity is, uh, yeah, strings, you get some holding strings in the background if you like it if not not the border here you can hide it if you want then the opposite wall that you can hide the opposite wall so you can bring in in the opposite wall uh, whatever you want to wanna see in the, in the mirror here so but normally i use this yeah if for any reason if you li uh, like to change the room size you can do this and here, of course, the reset button resets everything to the, the default. And if this reset, reset button does not work immediately, mostly because of the express, it does not work immediately. So just click, uh, you see, okay, it needs a little bit, or just click somewhere and then it updates. So this is this part. And the textures, you can texture everything however you want. So let's say with the floor texture. I go to the floor texture here, and you, I can drag in here every texture I want. So let's see, I can go to the, bring in some 
I just just for test, so that, uh, maybe it, do you think that, 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 that uh, I don't think that it looks nice, but so I drag this just to the floor texture slot here, Ba -dum, and you see we have another floor texture. You can change here the size and everything, or of course you can change this the size uh, in the as you would do it in the node editor too. So yeah, here we don't have a transform. But of course, when you put in here transform node groups to, to here, bring it to here, so and now, of course, I can maybe I rotate this, let's say 90 degrees. So we have the, the this side because we cannot rotate here, this this is not possible, but we can rotate here in the transform node. See, we have a nice, it's not bad. This floor, okay, I'll make it now smaller 0.5. Whatever you want, you know it. So we can the same. The same we can change the wall texture, of course. To practice the wall texture too. So it works everything. And, and if you have to uh, click on the reset, reset, and you see it does not work immediately. If you, it happens like this, uh, just click once or somewhere like uh, on the texture here somewhere. So floor texture, I see reset back my floor texture okay and if, if it's too uh, too shiny for you or something like this you can change in your in your own texture then so the border texture is the same as the texture of this here connection texture this is uh, the connection texture is uh, these chrome parts what you have here or in the circles you have it here you can change here to whatever you want and the string texture, of course, this is if you use the strings, you can even change these ones if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's it so far. And uh, it's a really nice thing. So le let's bring in something. Uh, merge. I have here some uh, person or something. Uh, okay. Wait a little bit and. Ta -ta. Let's see. It looks quite. It looks really nice. I like it, and I like it with the with the size of the mirror. Goes. Make a massa. Something like this. I love this. Looks really nice. Okay, it's a great idea of this photographer. When you don't want to make your background everything, in, in it's much easier to do it like this. Okay, yeah, and the next thing, let's delete the person here. Let's stop the render for the moment here. Delete all these guys here. And uh, if you want to bring this in your content browser, it's very easy. Go to your content browser, maybe you make a new, uh, yep, a new pre preset library, name it room. Okay, now we have the room here. And you, the file you get is you you get uh, this this raw you download this raw file inside this raw we have this room and this text and just take this two text and room and drag it in your content browser needs a little bit but should be there soon okay took not both so. I go to my. Where you are. I don't like this when we when I work with this layout here. So it doesn't matter. Like e desktop temp uh, octan room. So I drag this room. See for the thing. So maybe it's better you, you drag first one and then the second one inside. So that's okay now. And yeah, now I see it here. Now I have it twice open. Okay. <laughs> and if we now close this here, no, I don't want to do that. Go to my content browser and drag the room C4D inside. Activate the camera. Okay, I have a new thing now, so I have to. It's a new file. My, my new files are always, always uh, 720 by 720. So I have to go here to 16 by 9. 
and now I have everything like before and everything should work so I click on room oh, sorry, I, feel, huh? I locked this before so the room control let's see if it works so yeah everything works fine so just drag your two files inside here make first you make a new preset library and then drag it in and you have it all the time in your thing and this is not then uh, saved as room lib 4d file in your preset folder so so you cannot lose this yeah and yeah let's see how this looks if you want to do something inside this whole room you go to the layer and unhide it here under M unhide it so you see everything here you can work here with the expresso if you want so the expresso is not so, uh, <laughs> so the, this is the whole expresso for this thing you can change here whatever you want this is it's your file then so you can do whatever you want with it or if you say uh, if you want to change something here or you want to make more shapes for yourself and you think a mirror you have your diamonds and mirror circle make me want to make a mirror I don't know triangle or something else <laughs> you can add the mirror triangle add it in the uh, user data and add it in the express of course too so in the express so you uh, would have to change it uh, to compare things here yeah, yeah. these are the compares the three states and then we have to put in a fourth state and so on okay yeah, if you are interested in how to make something like this a little more express or so, uh, so how to, to switch between different shapes and everything, uh, just let me know and I'll, I'll show it. Why not? It's not so that I say, no, no, I'd want to sell my things. And I'll, I'll show you how to, how to make it. You can make it yourself. It's no problem. But of course, I prefer when you buy it. <laughs> or I, I more prefer, I prefer it even more if you support me on Patreon, honestly. <laughs> okay, this is this, and yeah, that's it for this one. So, so I think it's everything set for this. Uh, next tutorial will come soon, uh, and this will be a little expresso because I get uh, got often questions about this reset function I, I put in here. So I will show you how to make a reset function and uh, the next thing is uh, I got questions about a shader ball. Uh, not to how to make a shader ball, because, but how I, I make a shader ball. Let's bring in and uh, have a look. Wait, I have my, I have here somewhere shader balls, octane shader ball. This is my shader ball here. And when I work with this, I have here my expresso, and you can see, you can see in my expresso, so little user data. Ah, come on, we. Yes, uh, uh, expresso material. So I have here my material. This is material for for, for this for this whole thing, and material mesh one, mesh two, and mesh three means. It is not different materials, they are just differently projected. Here I have a spherical, here I have a spatial, here I have a cylindrical uh, mapping and everything. And I want to show you how you can make something like this, how you can easily... So I just have to drag in one whatever material, drag it in here and it will be checked, fixed exactly how I like it. And then I can change the size of the material for each mesh of this. So yeah, this is one of the next things we do. But I, mean, I, I don't show how to make this. This this shader board is made with uh, with the volume builder. So, but we will make an, a, a shader board, but it's just an easy one. So, but just to show how it works. Okay, this is uh, good. This is this one. If you want it, you can uh, download this uh, from my Patreon site. Uh, patrons 5 euro and above can download the file. It is it's available for physical render and for Octane. And I think I think it will be updated. So please let me know if you have nice ideas what we could do with this room. And uh, and updates of course they are free then. There's no question about this. 
Okay, and this will be available only for Patreon. So I don't sell this uh, in the other way. I just give this for my patrons because they they uh, deserve it. <laughs> okay, good. So now I will answer this. <laughs> so uh, I hope I uh, to see you. I hope you are with me in my next video. I, I think I don't see you, but. Uh, yeah, the next tutorial, as I said, will be then after this the expressor thing, there will come again uh, an X particle tutorial where we make some uh, organ organic shapes, so 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 uh, like cell uh, structures, and then there will come another modeling tutorial, and 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 it's enough to do. So uh, stay tuned, I would say. Okay, I wish you a wond wonderful day and. All the best here from Vienna and I say tschüss und baba.